Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video we'll take a look at a blockchain game called Kawaii Island. We're also going to see if it's worth playing and how you can make up to $1000 at current rates playing this game. If you like the sound of that, start hitting that like button, place a comment and help us push this video in the YouTube algorithm. As always, I'll be putting timestamps in the description of this video below so you can jump to the section that you're interested in the most. First things first, what kind of game is Kawaii Island? Well, first of all, it is a simulation game, if I can call it that way, a fantasy simulation game. It is very similar to Farmville uh, for those who still remember remember that game. As we can see on the front page, there is a browser version up and running, but we also have some uh, apps coming for the mobile version, both on iOS and on Android. To get some additional information, you can jump into the white paper. As you can see, it is a public team. This team has a lot of experience in mobile gaming. Here below, we see that the team behind it is a team from Imba. They already have two regular mobile games in the Kawaii universe. We have Kawaii Home Design and Kawaii Puzzle, but we also see some other IPs, Archer Hunter and I Am Hero. When we take a look at the second slide, we see that these games are really being played. So this means that these guys know how to create a game loop. Scrolling down, we see where they're trying to position their game. So they say that the Centerland is a simulation game. I would rather call it a metaverse, so I don't like to compare it to this. And then we have My Neighbor Alice. I think this is the best game to compare it to. So looking at CoinGecko, we see that My Neighbor Alice has about 200 million market cap and a fully diluted market cap of 1.1 billion. We also see that at launch it started at 20 bucks and then it started moving down. This curve is of course very typical for a highly anticipated launch. When we take a look at Kawaii Island, so the KWT token, we see it sitting at about 7 cents. Right now the market cap isn't filled in yet, but we see a fully diluted market cap of 72 million. So if you compare that to My Neighbor Alice, then we see that there is a 15x difference. Looking at the price evolution, we see a nice bump on the day of the launch. And then we see a sell-off, which of course is very normal with IDOs. To find out a little bit more about the KWT token and how it works, we go to the medium post and we see first of all of course the token has utility within the game second of all all the kwt holders are able to vote in the, the governance system and then there's also a liquidity program so if you want to farm the kwt token from a DeFi perspective that is possible as well when looking at the token allocation this is looking very healthy so 12 percent for the team and only six percent for the advisors below that we find the vesting schedule again nothing special here it looks pretty healthy so until six months after the token launch the team the advisors and so forth they can't sell anything and then we have a 60 month vesting schedule more information you can find here all right now that we know the basics we can take a look at the game concept as i said before we have farming crafting dress up decoration and of course a social aspect right now the farming and crafting is up and running we don't have dress up and decoration yet then we have the core game loop so basically you start with farming for this you need a field and some plants or you need an animal this produces materials with these materials you can start crafting by crafting materials you can fulfill orders and then you can start making some income of course you can also use the stuff that you make for your own home and you can start decorating your own place or you can sell all the stuff on the marketplace this is an open marketplace so you don't have to fill the orders you can simply go directly to the marketplace as well and sell your stuff over there if you want to play, simply go to kawaii.global, then click play now. Over here you'll be able to connect your wallet, and then you'll be able to play. As you can see, this is what the game looks like. This will be my house that you can decorate, right now it's not available. Over here you have the workshop. As you can see, you need materials to make anything you see here in the blueprints. This cute little kitten here is your order book. So you'll continuously get new orders over here and you just have to fulfill whatever they're asking for. So right now for this one, we'll need some wood, preferably, and some red dye, but you can also make it with these other things. Next thing you'll notice is if you fulfill this order, you'll be getting 62 kawaii tokens. So just as a rough calculation, this will be $5. Don't forget, you'll have to make the wood first and make this dye, and once you're going to craft, you'll have to pay 12 kawaii tokens. So if you deduct this cost, you'll probably make about $4 for fulfilling this order. Next up, we have our material bench. Over here, you'll find all the materials that you can create. Right now, I have a few animals that can create this type of egg and this type of egg. As we can see now, I have six eggs available. 
and I need five and it will take 30 minutes to convert these eggs to rubber. So you just click convert and then you wait. I already made some plastic which I can obtain. There you go. Very important to know you can keep obtaining you don't have to pay any gas fees it's only when you really want to convert them to an NFT, then they will be put on the blockchain and you can sell them in the open market. If you're not planning on selling anything on the open market, you don't have to convert it and you don't have to mint these tokens. So if you just want to use them for uh, to fulfill an order within the game, then there are no minting costs. Next, we have a similar station, which is the dye station. Here you can make the different colors. So I already produced a few, which I can now claim. And let's see if we can make a new one. So we have enough fruit or whatever this is for the uh, the black color dye. There we go. And then it's going to be in production for also 30 minutes. See if we can make this one. Nope, 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 and nope. So if we want to produce more, then we need to harvest more. Let's take a look at these. Just move over with your mouse and we will fill up our little silo here and gather experience as well. In general, farming one of these will take you about two minutes and you'll have a maximum capacity of 15. So basically, filling up your full capacity per plant will also take 30 minutes. So 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. And these are the little animals I talked about. They are producing the eggs. Let's harvest these. Now you also notice that this guy, he is hungry. Well, basically they will only lay eggs if they have enough food. This one needs 10 of these or 10 of these. And you can stack up to three eggs. Right now I don't have any of these plants, so I can't give this little guy any food. So he's not producing any eggs. So at this point you can use the food to make these dyes directly, or you can use the food to give it to the animals and they will produce eggs. And then you can use these eggs to create materials. If you combine the materials and the color dye, you can then produce um, some materials like these things. And then you can sell them either on the open market or you can use them to fulfill an order that you have right here. Now there's one interesting little thing that I do want to show you guys. That is if you go to this map right here and click random visit, you can actually use this energy bar right here. With this, you can go to neighboring farms or random farms and you can actually uh, steal whatever they're producing. So if you're short uh, of this resource, for example, you can take it away. You can take up to 10 of theirs. Or if you want to take one egg, for example, this one, then it will take off all your energy. There we go. So now we have stolen one of these eggs and it will take up to one hour to refill this bar. But hey, it's a great way, even if you don't have any fields, or if you don't have any animals, you can start gathering resources this way. You can only do it once an hour, so it will take you a while, but this is a very cheap way to get started. Going back to the world map, as I said before, the community isn't live yet. The clan island isn't live yet. So right now we can only go home or we can take the random visit. One last thing that I want to show you guys is of course the resource limit. At the beginning you can only put up, I think, two fields and this will expand if you level up. The maximum amount of fields is eight, which I will unlock at level 12, so I'm almost there. And there is a difference between regular fields and grass fields. Grass fields will allow you to farm about 10% faster. Then we have all the different plants that you can buy and all the different animals. You also see that there's a limit of four animals, so you'll have to choose. When it comes to plants, there's of course the limit of the number of fields, but you can combine as many of them as you can, or you can focus on one specific plant. Of course, if you want to feed the animals, you have to make sure that you have the right plants for these animals. Otherwise, you have the situation that I have right here, that I have one very hungry animal. <laughs> All right, now that we know how that works and how we can get started for free, I assume that most of you don't want to grind for a few days just to get your first few kawaii points. So you can go to the marketplace and buy whatever you need. Now in the background, the marketplace is running on AI Write. So you can list and buy these NFTs with the AI Write token. Or of course, you can use the in-game currency, which is the Kawaii token. So that is why you have these two different options right here. So before the Kawaii token launched, you only had the uh, AI Write token. So you had to buy it using these. But it could be interesting to look at both because sometimes there is a price difference between these two. 
as you can see right now the cheapest let's take a look lowest starting price the cheapest field is 26 dollars here and the cheapest over here is 36 dollars i don't know why this one is showing up first but yeah you can see that the cheapest one is 36 so yep there is a big difference so it might be worth buying one over here and then trying to sell it over here i don't know how quickly it will sell but something that you can do you can enjoy this arbitrage if the game becomes more popular so let's assume we'll be starting with four then we'll be paying about 150 dollars of course just having the fields is not enough we'll have to buy plants as well and as you can see these plants aren't that cheap so let's just assume that we're able to buy some of them at the price of 50 dollars that will add another 200 dollars to the bill so this means for about $350 you could get started and start farming these plants, making your dice and selling them on the marketplace. You can then use that money to buy some of the creatures, but as you'll see they're pretty expensive. But the cheapest one is $70, so if we're gonna buy two of them, we'll add another $140. Alright, let's start talking about making money in this game. As we know, we cannot create our own fields, we cannot create our own plants, and we cannot create our own creatures, but we can make our own materials, dice, and decors. The cheapest material on the market right now is about 60 cents, and if you remember correctly, we had two queues every 30 minutes. So on average, you should be able to create $2.5 worth of product every one hour. Of course, there's a difference in the materials, and there's of course a difference in the price of the creatures, as we see. Wood is more profitable than the leather. This is about 70 cents and it quickly goes up to 80, 90 cents over here. When we take a look at plastic, that's the one that I'm making right now. The price is about $1, so this is very interesting to see. I think about one week ago, wood was worth more than plastic. And I think probably the creature that we need for plastic will be going up in price as well. So let's take a look at the plasto. This one is still very acceptable. Let's take a look at woody. Yeah, this one is pretty expensive. So right now it is probably more interesting to buy a plasto and create some of this plastic material rather than creating wood. So in my case, if I would optimize my farm to create plastic, then I would be able to create $4 worth of plastic every hour. Now personally, I don't think the strategy to go for the materials is the best one, especially not when you're starting, because to create materials, you need some creatures, you need some plants, and you need some fields. If you take a look at the dice, the only thing that you need is fields and plants. So you don't need creatures to create them. And then when taking a look at the prices, we see that the cheapest coloring die is also 60 cents. So that's even worth more than the leather. So these colored dies are less of an investment, both in time to produce them, because the only thing that you have to do is harvest your fruits and then put them in the die machine. With materials, however, you have to harvest the fruit put them in the animals, then the animals lay eggs, and then put those eggs in the harvest machine. There's an extra step right there. So in that sense, I think right now the best strategy is just to buy some fields, buy some plants, and then focus on creating dyes and selling them on the open market. Now, as you'll notice, there's also a price difference in the dyes, depending on the color. As we can see with the yellow one, you can make over $1. The blue one will almost give you one and a half dollars, so that's definitely impressive. But yeah, you get the idea. So starting from about 70 cents all the way up to $1.5. So to give you an idea of how much money you can make with this game at current prices, I made this quick calculation in this sheet. So basically every egg, you will need 20 food to produce it. You can create five eggs with five eggs, you can create materials and so forth. When it comes to timing, basically you can do everything every 30 minutes. So scenario number one, we're using creatures, plants and fields. This would be the optimal situation where you can create $5 an hour worth of product that you can then sell on the marketplace. Do keep in mind you have to pay some fees. This is not in the calculation yet. So $5 each hour and we're playing, let's say, eight hours a day. And then for 30 days, that will bring us up to $1,200, which is what we see right here. Of course, this assumes that you are checking your phone every 30 minutes then perform the right actions which only take a few minutes but it is just important that you're looking at your phone every 30 minutes and this is something of course that is not possible for everyone but it might be worth for some other people then we have scenario number two 
Over here, you only buy plants and fields, and this process is a lot easier. So you just harvest the plants, then you put the plants in the color dye machine, and you're creating your color dyes. And then you can immediately sell them on the market. Over here in scenario number one, you have to harvest your fruits, then give the fruits to the animals, then harvest the animals, and then put those eggs in the material creation machine. So there's an extra step there, so this one is easier to maintain. Profits are a little bit lower. Sadly, we can only produce four per hour, not 4.8. So the total price per hour that you'll be getting is about $4, assuming that you're creating color dyes that are worth an average of $1. Then when we take a look at the investment. So the optimal setup is eight fields, eight plants. These are average prices. That's an investment of $800. Then we make $960 in profit. So you should have a return on investment the first month, assuming that all the prices will stay the same. Then in scenario number one, we're buying fields, plants, and creatures. And of course the investment is higher. This again is an average price. You can, as we've seen, get uh, cheaper animals, but depending on what materials they create, these prices will go down as well. Nonetheless, same situation here. Only the investment of the creatures might mess up the situation. So we have an additional $500 that we have to invest. It brings us up $1,300 for the initial investment. And we make about $1,200 in profit. So it will take a little bit longer to earn back our investment. So this one is definitely less risky than this situation. But in the end, if all the prices stay the same, this one will make you more money. Now, what are the dangers and what are the things that can mess up your results? Well, basically, we have the price of Kawaii, of course. It could continue going down. This has an effect on the market listings as well and on the returns that you're having within the game. The other thing you have to watch out for, we are dealing with an in-game market. So right now, the most profitable die is the blue one, which makes you about one and a half buck. But this, of course, can quickly change. Now, what can affect the prices of the coloring dye of the materials? Well, basically, if you remember, we have this ordering system in-game that rewards you the KWT tokens by creating or fulfilling these specific orders. So depending on what they're asking over here, this could influence the market demand for these coloring dyes because not everyone has these specific plants and not everyone wants to buy them and not everyone wants to wait for them. So they simply buy them on the open market to fulfill these orders and this can create a certain demand for a specific color. This, of course, will create a very delicate balance because it's the owners of the game that can decide the prices or the demand for these different products. But they also decide how much you're getting paid for a specific order. They also uh, decide which materials you need and so forth. So this is something that you don't control, but you have to keep it in mind. This will influence your returns and this will influence the prices on the market. All right, to finish off this video, I'll make a little price prediction. So as we all know, it got launched at three cents. The first day, I think it shot up all the way up to 25 cents, but that was before CoinGecko started recording. So on this chart, we see that it went up almost to 16 cents. Now, full disclosure, I was whitelisted for Polka Starter. Sadly, I messed up the launch completely. So I decided to buy some of the tokens on launch. I actually bought some at 15 cents. Then I placed a sell order at about 23 cents because yeah, as I said, in the first 30 minutes, it shot up to 26 cents. So I was hoping that it would go back up that much. Uh, sadly, it didn't. So I have some tokens at this price. And then I used a nice little tool, which is called Bogged Finance. This allows you to put limit orders on a deck. So in this case on PancakeSwap. So I put a buy order on eight cents, which of course we hit because we are now at uh, seven cents, I think. Using this platform, I think it costs about $2 for each order and each order is valid for 30 days. So yeah, if you're using a lot of DEXs, this could be interesting for sure. When it comes to pricing, I do think it's possible that it will drop a little bit more, especially if Bitcoin continues to go up. I think five cents would be a great price, but getting in at six cents, I think is nice as well. So using bulk finance, you might be able to put in some orders, for example, at six cents, five cents, and maybe even at three cents, which is the ideal price. If you could get some tokens at that price, that would be insane. Personally, I'm holding on to my tokens for sure because I do think there's a lot of potential. This team has shown they can create mobile games. They have different IPs in their portfolio. This means they have the code, they have the talent, they have the knowledge and so forth. And in the Medium post, they're also talking about expanding the universe. So it won't be limited to just one game. 
Now, when it comes to price potential, as I said, this game is best compared to My Neighbor Alice. And as we've seen in the calculations, there is a 15x difference. So if the bull run continues, and if this game is going to get extra attention, I don't think a 10x would be crazy. This means my price prediction for this game and this specific token by the end of the year is $1. Alright everyone, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you got any questions about this game or anything else regarding crypto or you just want to say hi and help me boost this video in the YouTube algorithm, please post a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.